Hey everybody, and welcome into a review for the new Nexus Bowling Backpack V2. This, uh, the original one, I think, was made a couple years ago. I did forget to check on that and see because I did, uh, I did a review for the original one uh, when it came out. So let me pull that up and see how long ago that's been. I think it's been a couple years. And so what I'm going to do here is this is the version two bag. There are, it's very, it's, it's basically the same design as the original, but based on the feedback that he got and some other uh, feedback, some design ideas, whatever else, he made a handful of changes slash upgrades slash improvements over the version one. And so that's what we're going to do here is I've actually got my original one that I still use all the time. I didn't just kind of review it and then not use it. So I'm going to give you a full two year long review on the original one, which is on a uh, discount now on the website, by the way. So we're going to see, okay, are the, are the design or are the improvements or the upgrades worth it? Uh, worth the, the price of the new bag, which is very similar to the price of the original one or, uh, can you just go on ahead and get the original one at the at the discount? I do have a uh, a link in the description that will get you ten percent off either one of them, whatever you choose to get. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a review on the on the version two, all the upgrades and such. I'm going to give you a report card on the original, and I'm also going to transfer all of my stuff out of this bag into this bag so you can see exactly what what i've got in here and how much fits in there and we're going to talk about a bunch of different that'll help me get through all the the features and stuff um so yeah let me see nexus um so yeah the nexus bag yeah almost two years to the day uh live review april 25th 2022 so this has been very nearly just short of two solid years and i have used this bag ever since i got it it's the only bag that i've used i've taken it everywhere with me it's gone to travel to tournaments it's gone to uh, numerous filming sessions um putting my nasty shoes back in there carrying an extra pair of shoes so if you have any questions Oh boy. So we got we got to hit this right away. Super chat. Did you know that French fries weren't originally made in France? They were cooked in Greece. But um tis. To get this started off the right way. Thank you, James. I appreciate it. So um let me go through the let me go through the improvements right away because he did send me something to uh talk about that. So just to just to get these out there. To begin with and then we'll talk about the we'll reference these or come back to these as we as we get through this he upgraded the seams and the zippers um he upgraded the seams and he changed the zippers to ykk zippers um i didn't have any trouble with the seams on my old bag but he uh it upgraded improved them anyway um so yeah i can't tell any visual changes but I didn't have any problems with the seams on my first bag to begin with, but they've been upgraded. I haven't had any trouble with the zippers either, but those have also been upgraded to YKK zippers. Um, the one thing he reinforced the mesh on the shoe compartment. So the, uh, you can see here around the side, there's upgraded kind of support around this mesh because this is the shoe pocket and this is breathable. And so when you put your nasty, you know, uh, sweaty shoes back in here they can breathe so they're not trapped in some other something just making that pocket funky or whatever um so on the original bag on the original bag this was the one single problem that i had with this bag and it was just this but this was my own fault too you can see where it's just a little bit of a mesh a little bit of a hole right there but i would hold i whenever whenever i was putting my shoes in my dumb ass would hold this right here and pull with my other hand while I'm pushing my shoes in. And so when I stopped doing I'm like, oh, okay, well, that's a dumb ass. And so since I stopped doing that, it didn't go anywhere else. And that is the one single thing, if you want to really nitpick about something, that's the one single thing 
I had with, if you can hear me, I'm not banging the around on the top of the mic. That is the one single thing with with the original bag. Um, but he did he did upgrade that to help out with the uh, the mesh around the pocket there. He made one large envelope pocket in the rear compartment instead of two. So if you look at it from the top here, you've got one of the accessory bags. You have the middle compartment, and then you have the back compartment. There was um, two compartments on the back here, um, each with kind of a Velcro sleeve. So instead of having one on top of the other, there's one big one now. And I, I would I would say that or there it's on the it's not on the back side. It's on the front. It, it doesn't matter. Um, but instead of having, I only really use the top pocket. And I think that that's what, and it would have been nice. I, I put my, my keys, my wallet, other stuff in there, and it was always a little too small. And so I never, I never used the bottom one. And so just having one and it being bigger works for me. The old one wasn't a problem necessarily, or it wasn't a problem with this one. It's just, this is better. Um, he added zippers to the pockets in the large kit. So these front two accessory bags are detachable. You know, that's one of the first things everybody says, like, man, that's a huge backpack. But um, we'll get into why it's really not as, is not as big as it seems. Plus, these two pockets right here come off. So you, the backpack is really only this thick, which is actually very compact for a backpack. Um, these actually come off, but I like, I prefer leaving them on. So I just leave them on. Um, he added a carrying hang handle to the large kit. So the old kit, um, it, these kits are detachable, but, um, now there's a, there's a handle on the, on the large, on the large kit. So you can actually carry this separately. If you don't want to have these on here, you can actually take this off. And if you have the room, you can put this accessory kit inside the bag and then this larger one you can carry if you want to do it that way to kind of reduce the size of the backpack um and this was this was another kind of complaint i guess you would say that we'll get into when i get to the bag this bag they have a set of clips on them that slide into and for those of you that have been in the military this is like a military rucksack that's kind of because he was in the military. The guy that designed this was was in the military. And so that's kind of the design idea is like, OK, well, let's make a military rucksack, but turn it into a bowling bag. And so uh, they have a row of clips on the back sides of these bags. And uh, the problem was, is that this bag went on and off super easy. The bottom bag having the two sets of clips and there's three rows of there's there's two rows there's one row up here, one row down here, and then it's a set of three clips. Trying to get all six of those to line up and get in their slots was somewhat difficult. So now what he did, he took off the bottom row of clips and added a strip of Velcro. So all you have to do, it's, and, and this bag, the smaller accessory bag, didn't have any Velcro, so it kind of flops around a little bit. This one does not because it's got a row of clips, but then it also has a strip of Velcro to kind of keep it more secure, keep it there. This one's the same way. It's got the top row of clips and then it's got a bottom uh, of Velcro so that you don't have to try to line all six clips up. You line the three clips up, you get the Velcro there. And so that uh, that's easier to get on and it, it holds up a little bit better too. Um, he added rigidity to the front and rear panels for more stability when standing. This is one of the things that you never knew that you wanted a backpack that stands up until you've got a backpack that stands up. You can, so this way, this whole compartment opens up and flips down. So this whole compartment opens up and flips down. You can have these two pockets open. You can have this pocket open. You can have this pocket open. You can have the side pocket open all at the same time and have it standing up so that you can get to things rather than having a backpack that lays down and having to lift something up and shove your hand in there or try to open the whole thing and flop it up or, you know, trying to dig through this and then dig through this. It stands up so that you can just get to everything. It kind of unfolds like a makeup kit, basically. So you can get to absolutely everything. And then when you're storing it while you're bowling, this can either go on top of your bowling bags. You don't have to find a place to lean it down or lay it down. You don't have to find something to lean it against. You don't have to hang it on a hook. 
and have this, you know, 20 pound backpack or whatever hanging, you know, the handle hanging by something. It can just sit in the corner. It can sit on the ground underneath the, underneath the table. It can sit on top of your bowling bags, whatever else. It's just a backpack that stands up is so much easier to use. And you just don't even understand until you have it. Um, he upgraded the buckles on the shoulder straps to ones that shouldn't break, he says. So the uh, the buckles back here, I guess a couple people had them break. I never had any problem with that. Um, and the difference here is that the old buckles are these clip buckles that kind of that kind of come unclipped. I never needed to unclip them. And so not being able to unclip them is not a not a thing for me. Uh, but he said he upgraded them so that they shouldn't break. Again, mine are, mine are fine. I didn't have any any issues with anything there. Um, also, as you've seen, there's a lot of padding on the back of this, too, which makes it really, I mean, I like that. That's something that you I probably see on a lot more backpacks than I would imagine. But um, the padding is very nice, just to point something else out while I'm thinking of it. And then uh, added a Velcro strip onto the small kit to keep it securely attached when clipped on. And so that's the other thing that I mentioned is so when I do like laying this down in the car or whatever else, if we're just trying to play Tetris to get everything in there on a long bowling trip, this does kind of flap around a little bit. Again, the clips didn't break, didn't have a problem with it, but it does kind of want to, if it's laying a certain way, it does kind of want to come off. Um, the other thing, uh, the rigidity of the front and rear panels for more stability when standing, depending on how you have this loaded, this bag could lean one way or the other. Um, it tends to lean more forward because I think a lot of people are going to have a lot of their accessories, bevel knives, uh, a, a lot of stuff heavier towards the front side of the bag. And so mine um, does kind of... <sighs> If anything, it does, but I don't know. I've got it fairly well balanced, and so I didn't really have a problem with it. But depending on what you have in the kit, it could lean forward. Again, I've got this thing so stuffed that, whoops, this front bag being open is just. Um, anyway, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through and put everything everything away. Um, one other thing that I guess we can start with the front with the front kit here um, is that these there are mesh pockets in here that you can see with the zippers on them. In the old ones, they were just open mesh pockets. So if you put something in there and you laid the bag down, they could kind of move around. Again, I didn't have a they had a, a elastic in there to kind of keep them closed, but sometimes stuff could still move around. These have zippers on them now, so whatever you put in these mesh pockets just stays there. Um, another nice feature of this is you can see all these little compartments. These are all Velcro. The the you know tic tac toe of Velcro stuff. You can take it all out and have just one giant open pocket, or you can use these little these little uh, Velcro shelf things. You can move them all around to where if you want to fit. Uh, I mean, you can get as creative as you want to get. You can put virtually anything in here that you want to put in there. Um, and then you can use these to make them snug so that they don't move around. So uh, I don't know. There's all kinds of stuff, all kinds of stuff you can do with that. Um, another change is that they is that he sells the backpack by itself. So if you look at this, it's like, I don't need all that stuff. You can buy just the backpack without the accessory kits if you want to do that. So, all right. So I'm going to take the top, top kit off again, this, this original kit. Let me know that I've been rambling at everybody for, all right. How does the backpack feel while wearing any back issues over time or shoulder pain? I didn't have anything. I really like this bag. Um, I, I've been, and even, see, and that that's the one thing, is that there's a ton of space in this bag, but yes, there is the possibility to make it heavy and kind of overload you, but it is balanced, again, the size actually helps kind of distribute the weight better, so it's not just feels like something, some giant, it's not like some kid going to high school or uh, college anymore. Um, but no, I never, and especially that's why I kind of referenced the, uh, the padding on the back, is it didn't feel any different. 
or any any worse than any other bowling backpack, but just because of the size of it, the weight is distributed a little bit better. So it's not like it's all a rock in the bottom of it that's just pulling in some certain direction. Having the weight dispersed a little bit better helps, I think. Um, YKK is the best. Uh, the extra stitching in places and little touches like that are what makes longevity. I like it. Yeah, yeah. So he made a bunch of little, he didn't change the, he made, he made tweaks. He made adjustments based on some things people said. It's like, oh, I had had some buckles. He, he had to send some buckles out to some people. Um, having this bag kind of flop around, it, again, it's one of those things that is kind of like, oh, gosh, that kind of sucks. That's a little annoying. But it non-factor really, but it's just putting a strip of Velcro on there so that this thing doesn't flap all over the place. Removing that bottom row of clips. It's just a bunch of quality of life improvements. Not necessarily design defects just it's like okay we'll nip and tuck it here and nip and tuck it this could be a little bit better this could be a little bit better this could be a little bit better uh, to, just to make the again like you said the durability a little bit better and the user experience a little bit better um, lots of little things um so if you liked if you have the original bag and you like it there's nothing there's no design changes here that make me go oh gosh i wish you wouldn't have done that um he just took what he had and and made it better so are the shoulder straps comfortable? Um, yes, because they also have the uh, they also have the the padding on here. And again, I you can if I swing this around here, um, look at the you know look at the, the padding and whatnot. And then I pull my other bag up here. I mean, it looks it looks the same. There's no this padding hasn't hasn't wilted, hasn't fallen, hasn't gotten crushed in. I mean, it, again, I've used this bag 24 seven for the last two years and you can't really, it looks like aside from that little, this little tear here in the mesh, you, I, I might as well have just gotten this out of the box with the other one. Um, and one disclaimer for me is I am the easiest person on the planet on things. So if you ask me, how's the longevity, everything lasts forever for me. Uh, there's all kinds of, I, I've worn the high end Dexter stuff, the SSTs. Um, I've had several pairs of the nines. Now I've got the C nines now with the bigger platform and everybody's like, Oh my God, those things fall apart on me in six months. And I'm like, I don't know. I had my first pair of the nines for two years. And then I had the color shifts for a year and a half. And then I've had the C nines for what, like a year now. At least. Yeah. A year, a year more, something like that. Um, and zero issues so stuff i am very very easy on stuff stuff lasts forever for me the one on the flip side is if something falls apart for me it is absolute garbage but this bag aside from again me pulling on the mesh to put my shoes in um everything's in perfect shape so 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 i'll start with the i'll start with the top compartment and what I, there is a regular, there's a regular compartment where I keep uh, extra slide pads, Avalon pads, whatever else. Not that I need extra slide pads. I don't even know why these are in here. Uh, Avalon pads, whatever else. But there's also a waterproof container. So if you want to put cleaners and things like that. So I've got a, I've got a bottle of cleaner in there. So if it does leak or if you have some uh, rock sauce or something, some uh, icy hot biofreeze, whatever else, uh, it also makes the compartment smell really nice. If you put icy hot or biofreeze in there, by the way, which icy hot will always leak. Um, but yeah, this, it's a it's a waterproof, so it doesn't leak. So yeah, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna go on ahead and take this off. I'll undo the Velcro, to show you how getting the I think the, the clips actually hold on just a little bit better too. I think that there's a um, there's a little nub on the inside of the clip on these. It's no, it's the same. This is the same clips. These clips just stick out a little bit further. So the, I don't know if you can see that, but those clips kind of have an end on them to where they stick out a little bit better. So they help hook. They help uh, hook into the. Uh, into the slots here better. So, um, again, I have no idea what those are. I'm never going to use those again. 
I think those were from when Johnny borrowed your shoes. Oh, pro oh yeah, I keep those in there just in case anybody else needs shoes. Or yeah, okay, because I I carry I actually carry two pairs of shoes. So I've got my new C9s, but I've got my old color shift boas in here too. So this thing carries two pairs of shoes, in addition to everything else. So um, I'm gonna go on ahead and zip that up. I will put, even though I don't really. I have a bottle of an extra bottle of cleaner just in case this is for somebody else. I don't angel cleans everything. And so if I want something clean, she's got a little clean kit thing. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in there. Um, and because it's easier to get the, the big kit on first, I'm going to leave this. I'm going to leave the new kit off for now. Plus I need to put my, and he, he's got a bunch of these, uh, these, uh, oh gosh, just in and out of my head. The patches. He's got a bunch of the patches for sale on the website too. And again, that's linked in the description. And if you use that link, it'll save you 10% on whatever you buy on the website. Whether, uh, again, they have the original V1. They have the, the version one. So as we go through this, I'm going to do a review on this one and a preview or a, the report card on this one. And so he is selling these at a discount. I think that these are 110, these are 170. Again, if you use my links, 10% off. And the cost was the biggest thing the first time around. That's like, oh my God, 150. But I think it was the original was 150, 150, 160. It's like, oh my God, 150 bucks for a backpack. And it's like, well, yes, yeah, sure. Everybody, all the price hunters out there, you can go find anything for cheaper. And that I've, I've been in the pro shop for long enough. For anybody that's ever been in retail, it's like, oh my God, I can get this so much cheaper somewhere else. Okay, then why are you in here whining at me about it? Um, if you look at bowling bags, um, top, of, top of the line bowling bags, top of the line bowling shoes, even some of the bigger backpacks like the Roto Grip, uh, the big All Star backpack, whatever else, the, the big top of the line stuff is just going to have the associated price tag. So, that's neither here nor there. I'm, I'm reviewing the bag. You make your own decisions on what you want to do for that. But if you use my link, if you want this bag, um, then, and you don't mind the price tag, especially for something that I think is amazing. And if you wouldn't have sent me another one of these, I, I don't want to use anything else but this. And I, if and when it wears out, which it probably won't, because I mean, this one went for two years and doesn't even look like I used it. Um, I, I would definitely pay for this. I, over some of the other backpacks I've had over the years, I would definitely pay for this. So, um, again, my link in the description will save you 10% um, should you choose to get them. Um, how does this compare size-wise as an airplane carry-on? It's very similar because uh, Angel got me an airline carry-on uh, luggage that I use, and this is smaller. This is smaller. Than, so this, if you want to carry this on to an airplane, this should definitely fit in the overhead bin, especially if you take some of the, and, and again, I, I'm, I'm going to like this, you can use, I mean, if you don't put anything else in this, in this uh, kind of pocket that's above where your shoes are at, this goes right in here and disappears. So you don't necessarily have to have it on the front side of this. And then this has a carry, this has a handle on it. And so this is something that you can set under your seat on the airplane or just sit in your lap or whatever else. This can go into the overhead and you're done. So you can still get, you know, you can still get everything in there. Uh, really like the bags and the guy Thomas who makes the bag. Oh, okay. Thomas lives in Denver. Oh, Derek Shannon's in here. Sweet. So yeah, Thomas lives in Denver. Okay, so yeah, you know the guy then. Uh, V two is a crazy upgrade on the zippers and stitching. Yeah, the old one still looks in great condition, and we'll see that as I continue to go through here. Um, and I'm gonna have to. This is gonna be the problem. Is I'm gonna have to remember which which one I'm taking stuff off of and putting back. Because other than you can see that, I mean, this, this one, okay, so it might be a little dirtier, I guess. You can tell this is more of a fresh black, and this has got a little bit of use on it, a little bit of fading. But it's, it's very hard to tell the difference. So, all right, so this is the new, this is the new kit. Got that done, and I'll save that 
put that somewhere else. Oh, I've got more stuff in here. I got chocolate in here. I got pepper. That's probably not good anymore. Yeah, let's just throw that away. Yeah, the chocolate I think is. Well, it's not. Yeah, boy, that over broken teeth with that. <laughs> so in my uh my U.S. Uh, 2018 Open Championships, the pride pin for everybody. Did we have match? We must have had matching jerseys. That was uh, Dennis oh. Ewell. He was determined. So oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He wanted to get that, so that's that's why we have the pin. I don't know why it's in that why it's in that pocket, but I'm just for the sake of this, I'm just going to put it in there. We're going to keep it. So old accessory case. So I'm going to take this other accessory case off and what I said about the the back is it had the two rows of clips and it was just tough getting all of these lined up and getting all of them synced up to go all at the same time and then you slide off pretty easy huh? if it tipped it kind of slid the top bag slid the top bag would kind of come off this bag would not once you got this bag on it was just staying there period um so I'm going to go ahead and take this one off Yeah, I forgot to, yeah, um, so see the difference here is that the new bag has Velcro on the bottom, has the top row of clips and then Velcro on the bottom. This one has the two rows of clips. I uh, had to make sure the Panda Pack patch is on the front. Yeah. Okay, that was, this was very poorly done. I should have, I should have changed the camera, That's what I should have done. Should have adjusted the camera so that everybody could see everything. So anyway, this is the old one. This has got all the. I don't mess with the camera now. I, I'm not gonna. No, we're not gonna be bouncing a camera around. So, new one, old one. So yeah, the top row of clips. Just putting the top row in and then velcroing it. I I like this. Um, also, when you open the bag up. Um, so. I have several things here. This master tool here is, is really nice, actually. And so I just burrow, I, again, I burrowed myself out a little spot for that. Um, Tic Tacs. Every bowler should carry Tic Tacs. Um, and then you can see what the difference is here between um, these have Velcro on it or elastic on them, but they're not super tight. And so if you were to kind of, then yeah, everything. Everything just kind of falls out. I shut off my. No, nope. I want to show that. All right. Um, I had the original, had a few issues. I had the mesh on this shoe zippered area tear away, same in a corner. I had a shoulder strap come off at the base. I ended up having to use cable ties on both, both front bags. Okay. So I didn't have, I had the, the mesh on the, on the shoe compartment, yes. Um, I didn't have any shoulder. I didn't have any other issues. So, but I did hear some people that had issues with the buckles on the back breaking. He did have to send some buckle replacements out. Um, so I did, I did hear that. So anyway, now that I've just made a mess and I'm sure I dropped stuff all over the place. Um, anyway, so yes, that, that's an improvement here now that I can, um, now there's zippers here, so everything that was in there, I can just put in the zipper compartment. So I can just go on ahead and I don't really need these patches in here anymore. Screwdrivers, some tape, just some general stuff. Oh, let me have the patches. I'll put them back down. Well, I, I carry the patches to hand them out to people. I don't oh. necessarily need them for me anymore. Tic Tacs, again, very important. I'll put the tape somewhere else. Um, so I can zip that back up. Um, this I can, you know, make my, so I can put my, you know, snug my master tool back in there. And like I said, you can use these to kind of snug stuff up. So it doesn't fall out. Those are all good. I will put the tape up here where I had the tape in the other. So I've got tape. I've got some shims. I carry a couple extra grips just in case. Um, so this is kind of where I put my tape up in these compartments. Um, again, some 
extra grips, little screwdriver. Actually, all my screwdrivers and stuff are down here, so I'll go down here. And so there's my, again, I don't have a whole lot of stuff in here, but I've got some other stuff in some other places and that definitely needs to be flipped the other direction so I don't cut myself. That DLS tool. So not a whole lot in there. I could put a whole lot more in there if I wanted, and I don't even necessarily need to have this on there, but um, it just works out pretty easy. So um, improvement there to that bag. And then putting this back on is easier. Uh, it's not quite as easy when there's nothing in the bag, however, um, because it doesn't. It doesn't. I need to. I need to put the rest of the stuff in the bag to kind of fill it out. Because if there's nothing, if there's no resistance, it's a little harder to make happen. But at the same time, again, I could probably actually, yeah, just, yeah, bam, right back on. That was easy. And the last time, the light with the last one. I had to keep fighting with it because you can't see the bottom row of clips. And it's like, is it on? Is it on? Whatever else. And so, yeah, this is um, this is on and Velcroed, and so that's not going anywhere. So that's sweet. All right. Take the oh ah, what's up? Mr. Rafini is in here. I bowled with these guys at the military bowling championships a little while before they released their bags. Great guys and good bowlers. Oh, sweet. Cool, cool. So, all right, I'm going to put my other bag up here. I got all my uh, stuff. This is a neat. This is a neat little thing. It's a it's a clip that goes in, so you can put. It, it's actually for water bottles, but I don't put water bottles in here. It's a water bottle clip that's on the side of this, and so you just put this around the neck of the water bottle, and then you slide it up in this clip. And it hangs on to it. So. I just use it for all of these wristbands and stuff that I should probably give away instead of just having on my bag, but it makes me look douchey, so. You gave a few away, and that's actually I did. why you started carrying them. Yeah. So, um, in the top compartment of the middle bag, or the top in the middle compartment, I have my fan. I have an extra pair of shoes, backup pair of shoes, and then there is a shelf. There is a Velcro shelf all the way down in there that sits on top of the shoe compartment. So you don't necessarily have to put your shoes in from the side. This compartment, I think it completely uh, comes out too. It's Velcro all the way around. So there's a Velcro shelf that goes in the middle compartment. And so you can just go straight down in there if you want to with your shoes. So, and also, as you can see, there's other compartments. There's sleeves for things here in the top. And then there are in the back, in the back, there are uh, compartments and this has a charger as well. So you plug this into a charger and it's got, this is a USB inside here. And so you can stick a phone or whatever in this top compartment and charge it. I needed that, I need the adapter of course for the USB, um, but you can charge something. There is another pocket. There's a secondary pocket down here in the old one. I don't think I ever put anything in there. No, nope. nothing down in there. But again, there were two pockets there and you can put water bottles. I think this is for water bottles, snacks, whatever, inside here in the front. So um, I'm going to take my shoes out. Nice pair of, uh, again, I've had these C9s for a year, and a year, year and a half. And you got them about six months after they came out, whatever. And they're is. in perfect condition still, so just whatever. So yeah, uh, first time seeing a water bottle clip. Uh, Evan, thanks for the donation too, by the way. Didn't say that, but... Yes, I need to pop that up. Thank you. Thank you. 
So again, the two pairs of shoes, two pairs of shoes and my fan in just the middle compartment there. So um, hang on to that for a second. I will go on ahead and use the shoe pocket. The one thing that I think is still going to be a thing, if you have bigger feet, um, the shoe compartment. Oh, I need to set up my shelf. shelf just redo the shelf here Trying to figure out how to put this on the screen and actually do this at the same time, it's not going to happen. So I'm going to just put the, gonna put the I'm just going to put my shelf in here. I will uh, just do this and get back with y'all on the flip side. Continue to ask questions if or make remarks again. Uh, there's three top pockets or where I put my extra heels and soles. I use the bottom long pocket for battery pack so I could charge my phone using the side port. Okay, cool. This Velcro is some good stuff too. So, shoe pocket is, or the getting this little shelf set up is not what I would say easy. Just takes, again, I don't know, even though I just set it up in 30 seconds. Um, yeah, this Velcro, once, once you got, I never had to move the shelf. But once you get this Velcro set up, it just doesn't go anywhere. So, uh, the one thing with, the shoe pocket is, and I think that's why people would tear the tear the mesh on this, is because the shoe pocket is uh, a little tight. So I generally flip my. Can you come hold this for a second? I'm losing my my stand here. Yeah, just come hold the old bag because I'm taking stuff out of it. I need I need this. So yeah, hold the old bag so this actually okay. stands up. So. I put my shoes, you know, upside down, one on top of the other, and then I would, and then it's, it's well, actually, actually, this is the shoe compartment's bigger. I think I think that's actually bigger because it was always a tight fit getting into the other one. So that's why I think I think people would hang on to this. I've never had this slide in there like that before. That just slides right in there. So that shoe compartment's bigger. I wear size ten. 10 and a half, 11. I think he says that this goes up to like size 15, the shoe compartment size. And again, you can also put your shoes up here. You don't have to have this little, this little platform in here. You don't have to put them in through this side. You don't have to put them in the side. You can just drop them in the top and then drop everything or drop them through the top and then drop everything in there um, too. In this new bag, all the pockets are still the same. In the middle, you've got the three kind of water bottle pockets, or like he said, slide pads, heels, whatever else. And then you've got the two uh, the two Velcro pockets. I guess if you can see that. These pockets with the elastic, there's three of them. Uh, snacks, water bottles, whatever else. I'll turn it around, and here's the here's the, the pocket up top, and then the, the adapter. Um, there's two of those pockets in this here. So, yeah, that's actually, that's bigger. So that's nice. All right. 
And so then my other, my backup pair of shoes, just in case, um, whatever else, those go down inside of there. I don't even really need to carry an extra pair of shoes with me anymore. But well, you have extra slides, so there's no reason. Yeah. Well, I don't have extra. I don't have extra pads. So anyway, you that had goes. One. Huh? You had one. I don't think I do anymore. If I do, I don't know where it's. I, I used it on my the pair of shoes that I have. So I guess the other pads are on this pair of shoes. There's a full pad. There's a full set of pads on this old pair of shoes. Doesn't matter. All right, now for the back compartment, because there was, uh, on this back compartment, there were two of these little, like in the middle compartment, there were two of the, two of these little ones. Um, just lighting sucks. There's just one big, and I'm going to like this a whole lot better, because that one little compartment, so there's, if I can flip this down, there's one big Velcro compartment now. There was two of them, like there was in the in the middle one that I just showed. Um, there was two of them, and so now having one big one, I, I like better. Plus, on the back side of this, um, down here, you can put a you can put a laptop, an iPad, something else. This actually is is velcroed, and so you can put again, iPad, laptop, whatever else, down in that sleeve in the back, and then velcro it shut. So, um, okay, everything's out of there, everything's out of there, in the back compartment, um, again, so in this one, one, no, oh, mints, see mints all over the place, there were two of these compartments, but I never used the bottom one, because once you got a bunch of stuff back in this pocket, and then you have some stuff in the top pocket, the bottom pocket just kind of, it's a little difficult to get to, especially when you have the rest of the bag pack. So, um, in the back here, I have the back of this, I have all the essentials. I have my, uh, scarred prints bulk up. Very important. Um, koozies also very important. More koozies. Cool. Wick Rose doll 10 gets 10% off that. Um, Another ball cup from they sell these at the Southwest Bowling Tournament in uh, in Wichita. Uh, they just kind of fill them with beads or whatever. Kitty litter. Yeah, kitty litter. Okay. Uh, they smell the. Well, at least that's what's in the absorbing the moisture. Hand thing. Yeah. So oh, kitty litter in the hand dry bag. So I'm guessing they go somewhere. So instead of a, uh, so yeah, I've got another ball cup, another hand dry bag, even though I don't use them. But they're Hello Kitty and uh, sparkly butterflies. So don't use them. Uh, the Storm bags just smell good. I actually use these, these scented Storm grip bags, in my shoes. As shoe, like people put shoe bowls in their shoe freshening bowls or whatever. I use these in my shoes. By the way, fantastic. Because these just don't make your shoes smell good. Again, they absorb moisture. And so shoving these down in your shoes when you're done bowling... Makes them smell good and absorbs the moisture. So instead of putting anything back there, important, um, like a laptop or an iPad or whatever, just got a bunch of random crap. Um, microfiber towel for cleaning, uh, extra shoe cover. So I don't even have, I didn't even have this bag packed anywhere to the capacity that you could pack this bag. So everything's out of the old bag. And again, to go back and kind of just, finish reviewing or report carding the old bag. Um, no issues with any of the seams. Um, no issues with any of the buckles. Um, these, I guess these buckles would break on people. Um, I don't have, I didn't have any issues with the straps. The strap, no issues with the straps, no issues with the other side of the mesh. I never had any issues with any of the zippers. Um, this strap's fine. Um, so everything, uh, everything on this old bag, I uh, is in really good shape, except for just this one little corner of the mesh. 
So as far as the old bag goes, I think it's on sale right now for 100 or 110. Um, the new bag is also available for 170 or for 110 if you buy it without the accessory bags on it. So uh, this this one's still in great shape. I, I could have kept using this for. Again, I'm not hard on stuff, though, so I'm going to be the first to tell you, don't use me as, well, you can in one direction. Again, if it if it falls apart for me, it's absolute unmitigated garbage, just absolutely terrible run for your life. As far as regular wear and tear, though, if it's even halfway decent, it's going to hold, it's going to last forever for me because I'm just not hard on stuff. But that being said, two years later, and this is a 98% perfect condition basically. So I really like the bag. I would have kept using it for years. Um, I would have bought another one uh, if, if and when I decided I just wanted a new bag because there's, again, this might be one of those things where you see some of the improvements of the new bag. Um, so again, to go back through all of his, his, his whole list of improvements here, um, if you weren't here earlier and didn't catch them, um, he upgraded the seams and the YK and, and the zippers to YKK. I didn't notice an issue with the seams. Uh, I never had a problem with the zippers, but the seam upgrade and the zip, the, the seams and the zippers have been upgraded. I know that YKK is a really good zipper. Again, I didn't have an issue with these zippers, but with the, uh, again, more buff seams and YKKs, if that matters to you. Reinforce the mesh on the shoe compartment. That was necessary. That was needed. Because once again, you can see the difference holding the bag side to side. The new one has the mesh. Um, so this this just has the mesh connection here. This one has the reinforcement around. So even if you do want to still use this sleeve to help hold onto the bag while you're pushing your shoes in, you're not going to have the problem. You're not going to have the issue with that now. Um, one large envelope pocket in the rear compartment instead of two pockets. So this is the rear envelope compartment he was talking about. Here's the one pocket. Here's the two pocket. So instead, that's just all one big pocket now. I personally like that because, like I said, I put my wallet, my keys, my phone, whatever else in this pocket. And it's just not quite, it just doesn't quite all fit. Um, so that might be a personal preference thing. I like having the single big pocket better because there are two of these pockets in the middle right here. So there's already, there's already two of those same smaller pockets right here. So having, instead of having four smaller pockets, two smaller pocket options, one larger pocket option in the new bag now. Um, so I like that again, nothing that would, you know, if I can have one over the other, sure, I would take the new one. Having the old one, if you know, if you're perfectly fine with the old bag, you can get it on, get it for a good price now. Um, zippers to the pockets in the large kit. So again, having the um, having that larger kit in the front here, putting the uh, the zippers on the mesh pockets. Inside of this now having the zippers, so now I can open this and flop it around and nothing's gonna come out. So that's a that's an improvement I do like because I did have to be kind of careful um, with the other one. So and there's a again there's a handle now on this which there wasn't before. So again, you can make this backpack. Again, this has this is the size of the backpack. And they're the same size still this is the size of the backpack without the accessory cases on there and again you, if you don't if you put your shoes in there and you don't have an extra pair of shoes and a fan in there um the larger kit will actually fit in here too so if you just have your shoes in there the larger kit will actually detach and fit right in this larger one in the middle here too and then you can put the smaller one uh in the back or you can put the smaller one in here on top of your shoes and carry this one. Um, it was easy enough to carry without the handle, but the handle is just a, yeah, let's add a handle type of deal. 
Remove the bottom row of clips on the large kit for a Velcro strip. So clips on the top. That was very easy to put on. I used to fight and fight and fight with this other one. Try to make sure that all the clips, or at least almost all the clips were in. As long as I had, as long as I got one of the clips in the bottom here, I was fine. And then all the clips in the top. But trying to get all six clips in together, not, not a thing. This went in very easily. Even with the empty bag, it just the three clips went on and then you stuck the Velcro on. I really do like that improvement, even though these, I didn't take the bags off a whole lot. Um, and then the one on the top, again, because the, the, on the old one, this kind of flopped around a lot because all that was holding it on was the clips. So you see that this one, yeah, all three clips and that you can hear you can hear how you can, <laughs> that tells you all you need to know right there. So yeah, all three clips in and Velcro on the bottom. So this isn't, this isn't flopping around as bad as it did on the other one. So uh, yeah, I like it. Um, upgraded the buckles on the shoulder straps. I never had a problem again with those. Again, these, the old ones are the clip style, but I never, Aside from right now, never I just never had a reason to unclip them. Um, so these are uh, clip straps, and on the new bag, they just have the buckles. There's there's no clip, and so you just again you just make it long enough to where the strap comes out of that buckle instead of unclipping it. I don't know. I would never use that, but they're better buckles. Never had a problem. I added a Velcro strip on the small kit to keep it securely attached when clipped on. And so that's that's something that I, I did notice. So, um, okay, I guess I can put all my crap in the back here now. Uh, middle. <laughs> and remember that half of this stuff's in here because I put it in there and they just forget it's in there. Um, so as far as a report card on the old bag, it's a solid A. Um I, I would even only because if, if my dumb ass wouldn't have been grabbing on the mesh here, but I think from the feedback I've heard from everybody else too, generally good. And even if they did, okay, a buckle broke or, or something else, I think everybody else would at least be in the B plus and up territory, B, B plus and up territory. Me personally, solid A, uh, bordering on A plus for me, if I just wouldn't have held that there. Um, so all the, and I think that the other thing is for the people that did have some issues, like we're stated in here, all these issues seem to have been covered. Is there anybody in the, is there anybody in the chat that's still here that, uh, something that they had an issue with something that was not resolved with, with the design here and that, yeah, that's. Yeah, that's perfectly lined up. That's perfectly lined up. Um, so, yeah, if you had a problem with the original that was not addressed by the upgrades, uh, it seems like every problem, the, the one problem I had was definitely resolved. And it sounds like the problems that other people had with either, either the seams, the straps, the buckle, zippers, whatever else, all of that stuff was, was upgraded. So... Um, as far as I can tell, we're in uh, A plus territory for the upgrades, I would say. So something that I already didn't really have a problem with in the first place was uh, was improved. And there's definitely more because I really don't even have this might seem like a lot to some people, but I don't really even have a whole lot in here. Um, there's definitely a whole lot more room where I can put stuff in the large kit. I can definitely add a bunch of stuff to the, the other kit. Um, so I've got all my stuff in there. I can put my. Put my. Uh, Matches. I can't really, 
The YKKs glide a little bit better, I would say. There's a little bit less friction. But, the, but I, again, these are two-year-old zippers, too, so I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that this bag still is in great shape. Still in great shape. Looks great. Um, all good. How many Honor scores does it hold? Um... Not very many if you're throwing with the wrong hand, apparently. There's been a couple. A couple and a lot of close misses. Um, he took good care of me with any issues I had reported to him. I ended up going a different route since I'm a bigger guy and was hitting things while wearing a backpack. New one looks amazing. Okay, cool. And that that is something I'm going to go ahead and put it on here to show um, that is the one thing is that when you're walking through cars or whatever, if you have it all set up like it is right now, uh, I, I keep it on there. I just have to make sure not to swing or whatever, or when I'm trying to walk sideways through something normally, you know, me walking sideways through something, this bag is thicker than I am in proximity also, but yes, this bag is thicker than I am. So normally I can shimmy through just about anything. However, and uh, once I have all that, two pairs of shoes, I've got a handful of accessories. I would say that this probably is about bowling ball weight, 15 pounds, which is not very heavy for a... I have a scale. Oh, Angel has a scale. So two pairs of shoes, a fan with the battery attached, uh, some ball cups, some cleaners, some accessories, some whatever else, or I guess we can just weigh the old one empty. It just really just tells you how much crap I have in there. Not so much that the, because the bag, I mean, the bag, the bag is pretty light itself, but when packing it down, so let's just see how much I don't have it. I don't have it fully stuffed, no, but now this is, this is packed. This is packed. With everything in it that I'm going to take to league, I'm going to take as is. I just took everything out of the old bag and put it right back in. I didn't add anything, didn't change anything. Ah, so it was pretty close. So I've got uh, it bag about 17 pounds with the, with the stuff that I've got in there, which once again is just more reflection of how much crap I have in there. Let me wait. Hang on, we'll hold on to this. Let me. Where's the other? Where's the accessory packs? I, I took everything out of here, and so I can give you a, a weight you can just of. Just shove them down inside. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. and actually, I, I can show you here too. So, the, the large accessory bag. The large accessory bag does fit right in there on top of the, if you had shoes in there. Um, but push that all the way down and put the other one in there. And so, yeah, if you don't, if you don't carry a whole lot of stuff in there, again, you can put both the accessory bags right in here. I've got both the accessory bags in here now. Um, so the bag by itself weighs five pounds. So, um, and that also is like, okay, well heavy, but heavy also means durable too. So, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put the bag on. So, and uh, I'll let out the, let me see. Oh, it's twisted, that's why. Um, how easy is it to adjust? Okay, well, these buckles, I don't think I'd be able to adjust it on myself unless I figure out how to work these buckles. However, that means that they're not going to slip on you at the same time. It's, it's one of those back and forth things. It's like, gosh, these buckles are kind of tight. It's like, well, that means that they're not slipping too, by the way. Anyway, I will let these out just a little bit, but this is kind of what the backpack looks like. Again, the accessory cases add quite a bit of depth. And so if that's something that you're concerned about, again, you can also see how it sits on my back too. It's not like sagging in any one place. The bag is not getting deformed or whatever else. So it is it is pretty comfortable, and you see how thick the padding is right there, too. 
And so it's a, it's a pretty comfortable bag. I don't feel like I have to lean forward to hang on to it. I can go on ahead and stand up straight. And because I'm tall and thin, I have a very, very high center of gravity. It's easy for me to get off balance. I, I feel fine. You know, I can even somewhat lean back and still be, so I don't feel like it's really, that it's, and again, there's plenty of, there's plenty of padding on the inside here. So it's not like straps aren't like digging into my shoulders. I feel, instead of feeling it hanging on the top of my shoulders, I feel the weight right here, kind of in front of my shoulders. So it's not like on the top of my shoulders, hanging down or dragging me down, or the straps are not digging into my neck or the tops of my shoulders. The weight is being, is, is right, is right here. And so, again, I can, I can walk everywhere. I don't feel like I have to lean forward and pull the bag with me. Um, because the weight disbursement again is, is in the right place and whatever else this, it just feels, it feels fine. It feels great. And people go, oh, gosh, that's a huge bag. But again, I look at it without, let me put the other, the other one on. If you choose to get the non accessory bag, or if you don't get the accessory bags with it, or if you don't carry them on the backpack, <laughs> This is what the backpack looks like without the accessory cases on there. And it's definitely, definitely not any bigger than a regular backpack. This is actually fairly compact again. And the other thing of being able to set the bag up. So having the bag stand up. And so again, what he, what he said about, you know, rigidity in the bag standing up put the bag down with all the stuff I've got in it's, it's level, but you can get into both of these pockets. You can get to the top pocket. You can get in the other top pocket. I can get in here. I can get my fan out. I can get in this pocket here. I can get in this pocket here and, and put my phone in there, whatever else I can um, get in the back here and get to this back flap and put all my personal stuff in there wallet, phone, keys, uh, whatever else in the back flap. Um, most of the time, this is where I keep my shoe cover too, is I just open the top of this and put the shoe cover right there so I don't lose it or drop it, set it down, whatever else. Um, and then I can even get into the, even with having, I don't have to take the bag off to get into my accessories. So I can have the whole bag unfolded. I can have this laying down here. I can open my shoe pocket get my shoes out and just have the whole thing open and sitting up so that you don't have it laying. Like I said, again, laying down to where I'm having to do this or do this or, you know, whatever else. It's a whole lot easier to carry. It's a whole lot easier to get around. Um, and so to kind of wrap this up, one final thing I get, um, he sent me the bag to review and on sales, I do get a 5% commission just to be fully transparent. Um, but again, you know, I kind of went through everything here and I thought I, I thought I was fair and objective and, and whatever else. And I, I really like the bag and I've, I've continued to use the old bag and the, the commission thing is new by the way, too, with, with B2, it, it was just a, a, a code that I gave people to get 10% off. So I didn't have a commission, uh, beforehand. Um, but I mean, I'm more than happy with just, I'm more than happy with the new bag. So, uh, that's just, uh, getting the bag in exchange for a review is, uh, more than, more than fine with me. So, um, I'm very happy with it. I'm very happy with the old one. I will definitely use this one until, well, it's, I don't think it's, again, I don't think it's going to fall apart. Uh, the old one's in good shape and I'll, I'll keep the old one as a backup actually, or, what? There's nothing wrong with it. I know, but you keep Why everything. I, I know, but there's nothing wrong with it. Why would I get rid of it? Ugh. Angel's rolling her eyes. It's like, well, I'll just keep it around. It was just like my old pair of shoes. There's no reason for me to continue to carry them in the bag, but I No, I do remember why you did. It's because when the, if the boa fails while you're bowling, oh, yeah. there's not another... Yeah, if, if the boa fails while I'm bowling, that's, that's the thing. I need another pair of shoes. I can't just get another pair of laces, and I don't have a backup pair of boas, so... I have the shoes in there just for backup or Johnny had to yeah. use them. No, it was dual purpose. Or in that case was why somebody else gets their car broken into and get their shoes stolen. If they happen to fit mine, then they can use them. 
Um, but yeah, I'm very happy with the other one. I like the improvements on this one. Uh, most mostly quality of life for me. Uh, but for other people that did have issues with seams, zippers, buckles, whatever else, I didn't hear a whole ton of them, but I did hear about them. And I would have to imagine that uh, based on the feedback, that's why he made the adjustments where he made them. So um, more than happy with the original one. I would definitely, uh, again, it's 110 bucks for the original one It's on that's on clearance right now. Uh, and so if you want to save the 60 bucks versus getting the V2 bag, uh, I would definitely recommend, I would still recommend the original bag. Again, because I didn't. Other than that little corner of the mesh, I didn't have an issue, and it was fine with me. And if if he well, wouldn't the most have sent traveling luggage is one hundred to two hundred dollars. Yeah, and if he wouldn't have sent me this one, I I just kept using that one for another two years. Did you probably even have this conversation because you asked him about? Hey, I'm going to make a report card for it. Yeah, and that's when he told you. Well, see, yeah, that that was the thing. Is I, I asked if. Uh, I asked if he had anything. Had any, I said I'm gonna. I'm getting ready to do a report card on this bag about six months ago. Um, every, I said everything's fine. Do you have any information? Do you have any whatever else? Have you made any up? Whatever else? He's like, yeah, actually, I have the a V2 bag coming out in a few months, and so I just waited on that to um, to do this one. So, yeah. Thanks for the review. I knew. Was, uh, thanks, Jay, for saying the. Uh, I knew he was making a V2, and now I don't have to wonder what the differences are. Uh, great review. Thank you for showing this. You know, sounds like this bag is uh, down with the thickness. I approve of that. And that was a James. He, he, the dad jokes are getting better. So, um, yeah. And once again, Sean said thank you for uh, sticking through this, by the way, and giving your feedback. Um, I ended up. Uh, he took good care of me with any issues I reported to him. I have another guy that uh, said, yeah, a couple of the buckles broke and he just reached out to the guy and the guy's like, oh, yeah, sure. And he just put some buckles in the mail and uh, everything was good to go. So uh, thank you for sticking around through this review. But as you know, I can't do anything uh, short or concise. But again, do you, do you want to review? I mean, it's sure it, it's a it's $170 bag. I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. Uh, but it's a hundred and seventy dollar bag, and so I'm not going to sit down and do some little fifteen minute, you know, BS review to to get in, get out, and enjoy my free bag. So, uh, yeah, I am looking forward to the V2. I'm glad it's basically because I like the design of the original one. He just uh, the original one. He just made some upgrades, and I like all the the upgrades in theory. And I will test this one out and it'll probably be another year and a half or something. Um, it'll probably be another year and a half before a V3 bag comes along or another another year anyway, probably before I would do a report card because something like this doesn't get as much wear as quickly as a, as a bowling ball would, so to speak. So I'll probably do a report card in about a year. As far as other like wish list items. They need a pink one. Yeah different colors um but i don't know i i i, I like black so the, the black with the the blue is sharp and I, the logo is cool and whatever else oh, yeah, you can decorate it with um patches. yeah and again they he has a bunch of different patches on the website so you can buy all kinds of patches and again it, it's a military rucksack so if you are in the military all of the stuff that goes on your backpack or your rucksack We'll go on this. And so any, they don't have to be, he's got some bowling theme stuff on his, but if you find any other rucksack patches anywhere else, you can, or anything with Velcro on the back of it, will we'll stick on the front of this. So you can uh, decorate it, design it. And even if you take these kits off, remember there's several lines of Velcro on the front side of the bag to do the same thing with. So it's not, the Velcro is not just on the front side of the, the accessory bags. Um, wish list items. I don't have, and I haven't used it yet, so I don't really have anything yet. I don't, I don't, I don't know. There's definitely enough compartments and um, maybe, maybe one thing for the larger accessory bag, because people do carry around devil knives and kind of other sharp things, uh, putting those in like the mesh, you can kind of, you could poke yourself going to reach for something else course dude, reaching your hand down and that you're going to poke your hand uh maybe one of the maybe one of those be like a clear 
a solid pocket or something so that the the stuff but of course it's a clear solid the, the mesh part of the mesh is if something pokes it then you're not going to poke a hole in the pocket so uh yeah just don't put sharp things in pockets i guess well, i wouldn't be able to take them on the airplane anyway yeah so again well uh, one last thing let me see if i can um oh oh yeah that's really easy once it's uh so when, once it's on, it stays put. But if I want to lengthen the straps a little bit off off the bag, I mean, that's okay. Yeah, they work like regular buckles. So yeah, all good. All right, I'm going to stop rambling. Thanks everybody for hanging out for this. Uh, again, I do have a link to the website in the description that will save you 10% off whether you decide to buy the V1 bag, the V2 bag, with or without the uh, the accessory pouches. I think the V2 bag with the pouches is 170 and the V2 bag without the pouches is 110. Um, I like having the accessory pouches, but if you don't necessarily need them that's or if you're fine with everything on the V1 bag, that's an option too. So uh, thanks everybody for hanging out. This was great. If you have any feedback, if you had the V1 bag and add, want to add any of your feedback, please feel free to do so in the comment section. I appreciate everybody hanging out. I'm happy once again. A solid A for me on the on the V1 bag. Uh, the improvements put this in a plus territory, so we will see. But uh, thanks everybody, and we will uh, see you next time.